banks like Wells Fargo and Wachovia laundering $379 billion of drug money and getting a slap on the wrist. They, you know, they report it, they find them, and business as usual. While the CIA brings in all of the cocaine and, and heroin uh, into this nation, the cocaine from the, from the southern hemisphere and the, and the heroin from, from Afghanistan, where Geraldo Rivera is right there, and he says, oh, it must sicken you and turn your stomach having to do this. Yeah, but this is part of their culture. Yeah, part of their culture. And then they say in the news, oh, we're going to stop doing this. We're going to help them with their drug trade, and we're going to stop them from getting on, on this drug trade and get them into something else. Horseshit. It's just what they, they just tell the people what they want to hear, and then business as usual. The banks are our biggest threat because, of course, they can literally implode economies. They've done it before. The Rothschilds did it. They caused the uh, the Depression of 1837. People don't remember that. Oh, no, 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 they don't remember that. Uh, when they uh, got angry at Andrew Jackson for killing the bank. That's how they do it. They implode, uh, they implode economies. They, they, uh, they basically uh, restricted the money supply like they're doing now. Bail us out and we restrict the money supply. So they can put all their money into their advanced technologies and their, you know, spider goats and glowing fluorescent cats and and uh you know freaky doc island of dr moreau things coming out of plum island and uh cold spring harbor which is a huge where the uh eugenics uh, movement began or well not began completely it was actually before that but where uh, the carnegies endowed the original and the rockefellers endowed the original uh facility at cold spring harbor for the eugenic national eugenics office in 1910. Remained there until the, the 50s almost, I think it was the 50s. Then they changed it because after Hitler, eugenics became a bad word. So that they started getting into the, they just moved it into the environmental movement. Yes, yes, yes. So imagine you're a Rockefeller and, you, you know, and Queen Beatrice and of the Netherlands with Shell Oil and Queen Elizabeth, of course, BP and Rockefeller merged and uh, the, uh, this is Prince William. You're not going to talk about oh, anybody mother like that, cocksucker. What are you talking about? You know quite well that your mother is a whore. That's me, Mumsy. You can't talk to her about that, Howard. Oh, it's good to hear from you, Chris. I, I, I don't mind talking, but it's nice to hear another voice. I got to tell you, um, I don't know exactly the direction to go at this moment, but... I, I was just talking about again this whole thing with the with the with the royal family and the getting into the oil. So these criminals, the way they operate is they do, they do their own false flags too. You got to understand they they all see the psychology is not the way the human mind works. Like you wouldn't chop off your leg, you know, to um, I don't know gain some sort of advantage, but they would. Um, oh yeah, that's the whole thing. That that is the whole point. So they'll. They'll, and first of all, it's all money to them, so they'll just tax us and get the money back some other way. So, of course, they'll create a BP disaster. Of course they will to, to demonize and make the ecology movement move and let's go to green energy that they want to control and carbon tax us. And of course they'll do that. It's, such, it's like almost like elementary. And, you know, you've been fighting the New World Order for 20 years, and, I, I mean, really, I, I, I'm just so... Uh, you know, literally honored that you even like understand <laughs> that you even like, you know, I, we can talk and that you, you know, we became friends on o over really over truth, of course, and uh, all of that time and all of the knowledge that you have. I mean, I'm just starting to learn about things, and you know, you turned me on to books like you told me about, uh, you know, Eustace Mullins, and I didn't even know who he was. I mean, so that knowledge is really critical, and um, it's spot on. You know, and I think we, we just have to try to let the people know that everybody has to just keep, you know, looking at this at this um, scenario that we have here, where little by little we're, we're, they're taking away more and more. But it's not just in one country, you know. And then they say they're gonna do something for the people that are starving, but meanwhile they're they're starving more, and you know, then they're gonna do something for the people that are sick, and meanwhile they're more are dying. I, I mean, yeah. you know, how, we do, how do we unlearn? We have to unlearn society in order to educate them. That's a Chris Freedom Flowers direct quote. Well, that's it. It's deprogramming. Like, um, have you ever uh, seen any or read any of the work books like um, the Thirteen Bloodlines by um, Fritz Springmeier? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a really hard read because it's huge. You know, it's such a long book and it's so detailed. Um, it was like a thousand pages. <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah. yeah. But, you know, some of the things, again, it's the Christian ideology. You know, again, there, it, there clearly is, you know, the religion. Religion I always had a, a, a thing with. I mean, faith is one thing, religion is, is another thing. And people, again, that's something that people don't understand. And he's a little, he's a little, uh, little far right on the Christian aspect of it, if you have, in my personal opinion. But he's spot on with his research. I mean, incredible, uh, like the Astor bloodline. And then you mentioned to me how, they, how the, the, the globalists got together and, and conspired against the Astor family to take their wealth. Um, yeah, well, it was during the Titanic. A lot of right. people think the Titanic was just, uh, you know, a, an ocean liner that basically hit a, an iceberg. But John Jacob Astor and a few of the other Illuminati family members didn't want a new world order. Uh, they wanted to go against their own family, in a sense. And then they, you know, let's kill two birds with one so stone, so to speak. And they... Uh, Again, let's kill one. Let's chop off one of our own legs. Exactly. That's it. They'll kill yeah. their own. It's, it is like the mafia. I mean, actually, the mafia is modeled after the Illuminati, or it's, is actually part of it, but in, in a much smaller sense. They're just, they're just as much as everyone thinks that. Oh my God, the mafia, or, or even when they had their highest power. I mean, they were they were just you know, they were the people that end up going to jail if anyone gets caught. <laughs> I don't know. That's just opinion of mine, anyway. But I'm sorry to interrupt you there. No, 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 it's your show. <laughs> oh, no, no, you were mentioning something. No, I interrupted you, bro. Oh, yeah, the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, I urged go, go there. Let's go down there. To, uh, yeah. yeah. I urged the people to go check it out because uh, the captain of the Titanic was a high-leveled Freemason. And you know that they, they will uh, take their own lives, sacrifice their own lives for the greater for their greater good. There is no you doubt know? about and, that. Uh, yeah. No doubt about that. And in their twisted ideology, which is like the reverse of, you know, everything they say, they do the opposite. Um, it's it's sort of like fits perfectly true. I mean, it was his last voyage. You know, again, I didn't believe it. Chris, you remember when you first told me that that, they, that the other families conspired against the Astors to sink the Titanic and uh, and that and Cameron is part of the part of the families, you know, the Cameron, James Cameron, the whole thing. Yeah. He, he got his rituals in Mexico He's 33rd degree, right, in, in Mexico. Yep. Uh, and I was just, like, so resistant to that information. Like, because it's just, again, you know, even when you wake up, sometimes it's hard to believe some things you hear, you know? Because it's like the, the, the Titanic. But then when you say that it was in 1912, and then you add up the fact that 1913 came the Federal Reserve, ah, and all the, yep. yeah, it all tied in beautifully. I mean, really sickly beautifully. Um, and of course, you were spot on again with your research as far as the, the 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 Masonic connection, and that is true. What greater pleasure or dignity would a man have who probably hated his wife? He's been married all those years, but all he was he was always on the Titanic. Uh, you know, whatever. You know, you know how they their attitude, the Masonic attitude, and having you know go down with the ship. You know, be a hero for you know going down with the ship. You know. And really, in history, maybe being blurred and looked at as just like somebody would look at at Bush as being, oh, he he didn't catch the, oh, well, his blight in history is that they had information and and they let it go, or or Roosevelt, you know, who they managed to praise a lot, of course, same thing, yeah. same thing. And there are some, uh, and I can't verify this or not because uh, there's just not a lot on it, but there are some theories out there, and I'll use the word theory. Um, that the captain of the Titanic was terminally ill. Okay, so uh, okay, so that would that would also let le lend credence to the reason why he would do that. But again, the glory of it really does actually make make sense. I mean, that's part of the oh, yeah. you know the, the, that is part of the the greater good. You know, it's like laying down your again laying down your life that kind of thing. But for the for their their cause. Which is, of course, the the you know Seclorus Ornum, whatever the New World Order. It's on the dollar bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's just an amazing. It just amazes me. I I, I try to, you know, I, I try to figure out. Well, well, I was gonna start my show really, you know, just to talk about how I woke up, because I think that it's an important mechanism to understanding, you know, why it's so important to continue to look into this and to research it, and then how compelled you will be 
to just not stop because it's just it's everything you might have thought and it is and then it's it, the the uh, consequences or the the severeness the severeness of it is so far worse than you actually ever really could have imagined that's why things like nothing astonishes me but some things still surprise me uh, yeah. you, you know like it's sometimes you're very surprised like the Titanic and then to, to think that you know that 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 it would do that to get him out of the way because of his philosophical pop differences and then of course Oh, the poor widows, and oh yes, you know, we will take care of you. You know, you don't have to worry. Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And we were just going to, you know, discuss the fact that you and and the other families that didn't care for this, we we, we were just going to, you know, keep you in the dark that we that we killed your husband. It's okay though. It's it's we love it that way. Yeah, we'll give you uh, a monthly uh, allowance if you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> That's true, too. I mean, who knows? Yeah. But, um, again, you know, that was one of the weirder things that, you know, and then really, I mean, to be honest, I could see so much resistance because of such of the popularity of James Cameron uh, with, uh, with the Titanic and that whole thing and, like, the whole, you know, that would, like, when you, when you if you amplify the, the this, 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 uh, fact in history people really will think you're nuts more than more than even like anyway i mean even people would even sheep think somebody shot kennedy that wasn't oswald you know um so oh, yeah. you know even the sheep understand that but you, you go against james cameron you know it's like and and arnold you know it's like how can you do that even though arnold's a nazi you know i i don't know it's sometimes it's just like the you, you just you have to sort of pick the battles you can win that's one that's uh, truth, you know, we, we seek truth, and but I don't think many people are going to believe that or even challenge to look at it, because it's just such a, such a hard, uh, hard belief system to uh, abolish. I mean, Do you think, Howard, like in our lifetime, uh, that it'll ever be out there in terms of undeniable proof for everybody to see uh, the truth about the John F. Kennedy assassination and who was involved? It's possible. That it become, yeah. It's possible. I mean, they, they they did say sixty years after his death they would release other things. But E. Howard Hunt, come on, on his deathbed, basically confessed that yeah. you know that he was down there and Bush was down there and he says he was never in. He doesn't know where he was on a, one of the only American, probably the only person in the world that didn't know where they were on that was alive, other than an infant that didn't know what where they were on you know November twenty second, nineteen sixty three. Come on. Yeah. That's like, where were you and what were you doing on 9-11 for our generation? You know? Exactly. It's the same thing. I mean, think about it. What were you doing? Of course, you know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you were doing. It is a tr one of those traumatic moments in time. Again, the trauma of it is also... See, this is also very important. You know, I know you know all about this, but the trauma that they sustain by, like, this, like, psychological warfare coupled with the planning. Like, what's scaring me now is all of the stuff that they're putting on the on the the I don't know how it is in Canada, but all the stuff they're putting on the news right now on the on the radio, um, they have first of all, starting October first, which is well today, uh, anybody that renews their driver's license in the state of Connecticut has the option to have a verified license. This means you can go into a federal building and federal and you can fly and you'd have better security. It doesn't mean that you'll have to. Uh, to produce a passport and all this other stuff, but it also they don't tell you at all that it contains a uh, basically a uh, a chip that is um, a tracking chip. Basically, it's a, it's a GPS chip. 